Is that easier said than done? It definitely is because, uh, you know, anything can happen on any night. And, you know, we still got a few road games. So, you know how those are tough to go out and try to get a sweep. But, like I said, I mean, after the Arizona game, to pull that one off there at their place, you know, everybody's confidence is up, you know, <laughs> pretty high. So I think that's a good thing for us right now. Your schedule is favorable, though, right? Do you, do you look at that at all? I and mean, you've got seven games left and five in that half. Yeah, uh, you know, you got to take advantage of home court in this conference. So, you know, we're just looking, you know, to just build on each game and just continue to make progress. And, you know, hopefully we can just get as many wins as we can possible in these last seven. Can you can talk about UCLA a little bit and how, how big a game this is for you to build on what you just achieved. Uh, I mean, it's a big game. I mean, we feel like every game is a big game for us, especially in the conference. And we just feel like, uh, you know, they already beat us the first time. So, you know, we're pretty, uh, you know, we're pretty excited, you know, to get them back here at home. So, Is it, uh, I mean, if you could bottle up the uh, the game you had at Arizona as, as a team, I mean, I'm sure you want to bring it back with you. Is it easier said than done as far as, far as trying to uh, replicate that game, which is your best of, of the season uh, going forward? Yeah, definitely. Is. I mean, you know, you know. You just got to make sure everybody's on the same page like we were against Arizona. You know, we just got to keep being consistent. You know, I just feel like we, our attention to detail on the offense and defensive end was really good. And I just feel like uh, if we can just, you know, play with that same intensity throughout the whole season. I feel like we can get as many wins as we, as we want. I didn't hear that right? I feel like if we just play, you know, with that same intensity, I feel like we can get as many wins as we want towards the end. Talent offensively, was that the most aggressive you think you've been this season? Uh, no. I mean, there's been a game, I think I shot the ball 26 times against Creighton. So, I mean, it was just going in for me. So, uh, I mean, I was just shooting the ball. I got the ball where I was most, you know, confident and I was comfortable. And like I said, I mean, I was knocking down shots. So, my confidence was, you know, it was at an all time high. So, I just kept shooting the ball. The rim looked pretty big to me after each one kept going in. So, I just kept shooting it. I mean, in terms of driving to the rim and not maybe settling for. <clears throat> You know, mid-range jumpers. Oh, I mean, uh, I, mean, I guess you could say that. I mean, it was the best I've probably ever shot in college. But I'm just saying, uh, like I said, my teammates got me the ball where I was most comfortable, where I, you know, where they, you know, set me up so I can make a play. And you know, like I said, the shots were going in, so I just kept shooting. Justin, what do you remember about that first UCLA game, and what problems did they present besides the obvious fact that they have the talented players? Uh, transition. Uh-huh. Transition, they were able to get out and transition on us. Uh, their their transition yeah. offense, their defense? Yeah. Their offense. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, just Larry Drew, how he pushed the ball, uh, his intensity. Um, as soon as, you know, made shot, missed shot, how fast they get up the court. And also, uh, he ran, they run the pick and roll, uh, pick and roll very well, uh, pick and pops, and uh, they take advantage of our heads. And um, David, David Ware and Travis Ware had big games against us um, shooting the ball. And, and so we just, you know, have to make adjustments on that. You asked Alan this earlier when he came in. Uh, what did that Arizona game do for, uh, for you guys as a team? What, what's your what's your takeaway from that uh, that way? Uh, just I mean, show us that what we're capable of. Um, we've dropped a few that I mean, I'm sure our team feel like we should have won. Um, but just you know, beating that team at their place uh, just shows you what type of team we are, and it gave us a, give, giving us a lot of confidence that we can play with anybody in the country if we just you know set our mind to it and get. You know, the right people to ball, get Allen the ball, get get him in with shots and rhythm and things like that. So it just gives us a lot of confidence and shows us, you know, what, what we're capable of. In the first half, I know you coaches and players, especially coaches, do the one game at a time thing. But right. the next game is, is UCLA. Yeah. Um, it's the biggest game because it's the next game, but it's also UCLA. Is it, is it extra big on the schedule to turn, make a statement on the heels of what you just did? Uh, I mean, of course. I mean, you're at home, so it's it's like you know. So I feel like it's a must win at home. You have to protect home court, and then looking at it, they're a team that's you know above us in conference right now. They're one of the top three teams in, in the conference. So you always want to want to beat the want to beat the better teams so you can move up and and, and your situation can look better as far as the NCAA tournament. But um, yeah. But I mean, at any you want to win any game at home, whether it's you know best team in the conference, worst team in the conference, you always want to protect home court. You guys talk much about the NCAA tournament, or is it just understood that it's out there if you do the right stuff? Uh, we understand it's out there. We don't really talk about it too much. Uh, 
we know what it takes to get there, and um, we've uh, we've been there before, so uh, we know what it takes. We just have to get it done. What do you think it will take the rest of the way? Protect home court. We have to go five and zero at home, and and uh, see what we can do on the road. But uh, I'm pretty confident that we can get get two on the road. So I say just seven and zero, and we're in. Alan, is, is it uh, reasonable to, to hope or, or suggest that you can uh, use that game you had at Arizona and just play in that uh, similar manner the, the rest of the way? I mean, is that something you, I'm sure you want to do it. Is that reasonable to think you, you could? Yeah, I mean, it's all up to me. I mean, nobody's going to hold me back but myself. If I just don't, if I don't come into the game with the right mindset, then you know, I probably won't be as aggressive against Arizona. I mean, the way I was against Arizona, but like I said, I just got to, you know, prepare myself mentally the right way and, you know, just go out there and just be aggressive. Are you suggesting that you took a different mindset in the Arizona game than you had made the previous games? And how is it, how is it different? Uh, I probably felt like I wanted to go into the Arizona game, you know, just knowing, you know, go out there and do everything I could. Because in the Arizona State game, you know, I had those turnovers and I was, it just set with me the wrong way. So I just wanted to go out there and just do whatever I could, you know, play the best that I could, and, you know, just do whatever I could to help my team win. So I feel like that gave me, you know, a little bit more, you know, energy, more confidence or more, you know, just, just want to go out there and make sure I make all the plays that I can to help my team. So was that Arizona State game with the end, was that kind of like a rock bottom sort of turning point for you? Probably. I mean, not really a rock bottom. It was just, you know, just a learning experience. I mean, you know, to be in a situation like that where the ball was in, my hands towards, you know, to make a play for my team and then turned it over twice. It just kind of, you know, like I said, it just settled me the wrong way. So I just wanted to make sure that I didn't put myself in a situation like that again. So Is, is it fair to say, like, once you've been in that situation, you can kind of almost play with no fear because it's like uh, as bad as it can get? Or, like, how, how does it change? I mean, I'm kind of just a little confused. I mean, it's just, you know, you just don't, uh, you know, I was just trying to play hard, just make plays for my team. You know, I'm just saying, like, we had a, you know, comfortable cushion kind of, you know, we're at, like, four points with with the ball in Arizona. And, I, you know, I just make sure I just didn't make any more terrible plays, try to throw the ball away, just get the ball in somebody's hands who's, you know, going to be open and confident to make the play. So, found Justin, he made a layup, put us up six, you know. So, by that point, I knew he was going to win for sure. Oh, there was a point at which... Uh, Richard and, and Coach Montgomery seem to squawk at each other a little bit on the bench, and you kind of John pulled you know his dad away, and you pulled Solomon away. What what went on between the two of you to calm him down? I was just telling him like it doesn't matter what Coach said or if Coach yelled at you. I mean we had 55 seconds left in the game, and the most important thing was just to win. I mean don't worry about if he yelled at you. I mean worry about that after the game if you want. But I was just saying like just be focused on the last 50 seconds, 55 seconds of the game or whatever was left, you know, so we can win. How surprised were you guys when Coach Montgomery went to the zone at the end, in the first half? Uh, we weren't surprised. I mean, we've been working on the zone. We just haven't used it. And, uh, you know, fortunately, it worked really well for us. You know, Arizona didn't seem like they can get into a rhythm offensively. And, you know, they seemed like a team who liked to push the ball up, you know, after we scored. But, uh, you know, after we scored and we got back in our zone, it just seemed like they really couldn't find a rhythm. So. Feel like we took it, you know, take them out of their game plan. Jason it almost seems a little counterintuitive to play a zone against a team that shoots three as well as they do, but it seemed like it really discombobulated them in the middle, huh? Yeah, we I think we rotated well. That was the most active I think we've been in that zone. Uh, Allen did a great job at the top against Mark, uh, you know, uh, keeping him in front of him, and uh, the the wings did a great job keeping their shooters um, contesting shots. And uh, I think that's just the key. I mean, just being active and then having a you know, Allen at the top with that, you know, 7-2 wingspan and, and, and protecting the middle end and keeping the point guard in front was, was key for us to to let, stop penetration and then keep them on the perimeter, which, you know, they end up shooting contested three-point shots and we're able to get on the break. You think almost it could be a deal where since you don't play zone as much, that when you get moved into it, everybody's really kind of focused in really extra extra special? Uh, I don't think it's because we just don't play that much. I think it's just the desire to win. I think everybody knew what type of game that was, and, and we needed it, especially dropping the Arizona State game um, when we felt like we should have had. I think everybody just, you know, the compet competitiveness of everyone, everybody just played hard and was active in that zone. Uh, Coach, Alan, uh, Justin a moment ago talked about 
and uh, you know plan out the conference schedule. As a player, do you think about sometimes you daydream? What do we need to do to get ourselves into the tournament? Or do you take the coach's point of view, which is we just can address the one game at a time thing? I mean, you know. As a player, you're not going to lie. I mean, of course, you know, that's your goal <laughs> is to make it to the tournament. I'm pretty sure that's the team's goal each and every year is to, you know, make it to the tournament and, you know, go as far as we can. So you do think about – I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, of course. <laughs> you think about what you have to do. And yeah, I mean, you know, like Coach said, I mean, you got to take one game at a time because if you focus on that game and get those wins, then you won't have to worry about, you know, worrying if we're going to make the tournament or not. And I just feel like uh, – I mean, it runs through your mind. You know, you know, it just passes through. You know, it's not like something that we really need to focus on heavily. But, you know, just like you said, just go out there and prepare for each game one at a time. We take care of business, then, you know, the tournament will take care of itself for us. Do you do stuff like check the RPI ratings and things like that? I don't, I don't nah. even understand all that, <laughs> no. so I don't even care. I just, you know, try to get as many wins as I can. I mean, as we can <laughs> as a team, you know, right. so. Don't be the only Cal Bear. <laughs> Any other questions for the guys?